All right, guys, today we have another shop update with some more stickers. Uh, and if you enjoy old machinery and seeing how to fix it up, why don't you guys subscribe? All right, guys, the other week I went to the Wheat Club. Uh, they had a swap meet, and uh, Wheat, it stands for Western Heritage Engines and Tractor Association. Uh, but I think mostly that they just wanted it to be Wheat. Uh, anyway, we found some neat stuff, and I got a couple of clips I'll, uh, I'll probably put in here of some engines that I saw while I was there. I really should have shot more video, but I just got caught up in the rush. All right, so uh, the first thing I found when I was out there, and, I, and I've been kind of looking for this sort of stuff. They're kind of hard to find, although there was a whole bunch of it there. Uh, I didn't have nearly enough money. Uh, could you ever take enough money to that kind of an event? Anyway, let me show you what I got. All right. I found a half a pulley. Uh, that's not very much use, really, I suppose. Uh, but luckily, another vendor there, they had, uh, they had the matching other half. Well, how lucky can I get? Anyway, uh, so I got this, and uh, I had the bolts around here somewhere. Oh, here they are. Here's the bolts. This holds these two halves of this pulley together. So I'm sure many of you know what this is, but uh, this is a line shaft pulley. There's actually one piece missing, but uh, it's something that we can make in the shop probably. But there'll be a, uh, it, it's kind of a clamp thing that goes on to the line shafts that drive the machines. And that would be metal or cast iron or bronze or something, I don't know. Uh, but it would clamp onto the, the shaft. And then this goes around it and you can clamp onto it. And the reason this is split is so that uh, you can mount the lines up or you know take one of these things off for service. If it you know, means this is a wooden one. And wooden pulleys, they're really old. I mean, they, they switched to using metal ones, I'm sure, around the turn of the century. So this thing could be well over 100 years old. And uh, anyway, this one's in really rough shape. Somebody's tried to put it back together with some nails. Hope you're in frame. Anyway, you can see there's... And they tried to nail it and missed. And generally, it's just in sort of bad shape. But the nice thing about this is, is that you can see exactly how this was all put together and the way all these blocks were cut I'm sure they were all kind of glued together and then sawn out but uh this will allow me to be able to make some if I need some uh, so that's one thing well, that was the that was the first item I found okay so the next thing uh, there's a guy that comes there every year and he sells all kinds of tools and usually has a lot of sort of woodworking stuff but he always has a couple of little machine shop tools and i bought all kinds of nice little things from him and he's always very reasonable so anyway this was the next thing i found and this was in a, a stare at box which was pretty much destroyed uh, it doesn't say stare on here anywhere but i'm pretty sure it is if there's any experts out there i know the knurling on this stuff is supposed to be a good uh, indicator but anyway so it's a uh, it's a centering head for um, your combination square so now I just need to get a combination square made by Starrett I guess but it's in it's in really good shape the paints a little bit chipped off but that won't hurt nothing the surfaces here are all in really excellent condition so that was a pretty good deal five bucks so the next thing uh, is something that I kind of been looking for and usually they kind of end up being sort of expensive, but uh, this one was not too bad. So here it is. It's a five inch sign bar. And uh, the nice thing about this one is it's actually, uh, this was made by a, probably a tool maker or something like that back in the day. Could have been his school project maybe. It's a HC Writer. So if anybody knows HC Writer, I've, I've got his tool. Hope he doesn't mind. Uh, I'm sure he's probably long retired by now. Um, anyway, this one's sort of a little bit unusual. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know if the rolls have been replaced, but so usually on this side, you know, they'll be sort of slightly below the surface or, or ground perfectly even with it. But on this side here, we're sticking over like a quarter of an inch. So I just think that's kind of odd. I don't know why you would want to do that. I'd love to have some insight. If somebody knows why this would be, uh, please please leave a comment about that because I'm really interested. Uh, anyway, so I get this from the same guy, and uh, 
that was uh, $15 and that that's a pretty good deal uh, it looks like it's gotten a little bit rusty and it, you know we might have to mail this thing over to Tom Lipton and see if he can to give it a little spa treatment clean up the uh, precision surfaces again the funny thing is, is the bottom of it is in very good condition uh, the rolls not so great the top is okay but it's got a little pitting on it not too bad though uh, for mere mortal measurements I'm sure it's fine you know we're not trying to put anything into space with the stuff that I'm building in my shop so I think we'll be okay all right so the next thing that I picked up uh, it wasn't really at the swap beat but I you know a buddy of mine that was there I met up with him at his house afterwards because I thought he had something that I might need and uh, here they are they're uh, Armstrong tool holders uh, sized for my uh, for my uh, South Bend lathe so that's good I need a straight one still and Dave I think you were saying that you might have had one of these if you're not attached to it I certainly think I can make use of it it's always nice to have one more laying around um, and I also have uh, some number one size tool holders in this type and zero uh, the zero ones will fit the original tool post on this and I I don't think I have the uh, right hand one a number zero right hand but I got I think I might have two left hands <laughs> any rate so tool holders um, and along the same lines with that I think I already showed this but here's the uh, this is the knurling holder that came in that South Bend lathe uh, it's all right I don't really like these kind because uh, this really puts a lot of pressure on the on the cross slide screw uh, there's other ways of going about it so we might have to make something different but I don't know it's always good to have these around bartering material I suppose maybe if nothing right you know so after I went and did all the shopping looking at all the stuff and visiting with I mean there's only so many people that are into this old stuff right so they all end up meeting at the same places all the time uh, anyway I went out and spent most of my money I only brought forty dollars and then right at the very end I spot another pulley and I just thought it was just a small pulley uh, I think it was uh, well 12 inches I guess about the same size as that wooden one was and uh, maybe it was 10 it's a little smaller I think and uh, I noticed something odd about it and I walked up to it and I checked it and I go oh, son of a gun it's a, it's a clutch and and if you're into line shaft machinery clutches are difficult to find you know uh, you know that they, they didn't use them on everything most of the time they would use like a, a tight loose pulley is, is what it's called but you'll have one that's locked to the shaft that's set screwed to the shaft and there's another one that just rides on the shaft freely and you'd use a little lever to shift it over to the one that just rides on the shaft free to to shut down whatever piece of equipment you're working on but uh, clutches are kind of nice that way and and the uh, South Bend actually had a double clutch system so you could uh, from your main line you'd have one belt just going you know on a big loop like this and then you'd have another one that would have a twist in it so that would be reverse direction right so you could actually shift from you know going forward and shift it out of gear that would shut it off and then shift into the other clutch and you could actually reverse the lathe and uh, you know that's that's the easiest way to do it on one of these kind of things you know it'd be very difficult to you know stop the line and reverse the line uh, which you would probably need something like that anyway but uh anyway it would do it locally at the machine uh, I would also like to have one of those on the south bend but anyway I find this thing and guess how much this guy wants for this thing it was forty dollars <laughs> and there wasn't nobody around I could borrow any money from or anything like that but I, I got his phone number I think I'm gonna call him tomorrow and find out if he still got it the problem is he lives way far away from me here down south uh, I don't know I might have to make some calls and see if I can find somebody that lives maybe near him that they can maybe pick it up and I don't have to drive all the way almost to LA I think to I think he lives in Ventura but anyway uh, if anybody lives in Ventura you let me know <laughs> all right well make sure you bring enough money to your swap meets <laughs> all right so the last update here is uh is these parts here and these were uh lent to me I was joking around with them the last time they were on video that he had given them to me but uh these are the parts for the uh champion blower 
drill press, right? So we need to make new castings of these. And uh, I was just kind of showing you where we are. I've, I've done a lot of grinding on this, and this one was by far the worst one. Uh, it was a lot of bumps and lumps and stuff like that, and that, that just won't, won't work when it gets to the foundry. Uh, this one a little bit on the back side, but not bad. Uh, so we're going to have to do a little bit of filling work, and we got to make some kind of plugs to fill these these holes and where the set screw goes. You know, that one there, I've already plugged this, and I've even actually started uh, uh, cobbling something really ugly together here, but uh, we got to extend this so that uh, it will fit my drill. For some reason, this part is a little bit shorter on his than it is on mine, but... Uh, we can make this work. It, it will work once that's long enough. Um, but anyway, so uh, that video, I've already shot some of this video, but we got to finish it up yet. I just figured uh, Mr. Evil Twin, he might want to see some kind of progress on his machine. Uh, anyway, here's the dog. I did, uh, there was some wear on this dog here, and I just kind of filed it to where it, uh, you know, kind of blended it all together. There's no need to, to copy wear into the part, and that seems to be the way that this one wants to ride in his machine anyway. So we'll make this for, for me and just let it wear into my machine however it feels like wearing in. All right. Anybody recognize these two guys? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if you hadn't guessed the, who those stickers were, uh, it's Ray Cornelia and uh, Don Cossett. So... Uh, they were nice enough to send me some more stickers here so I can put it up on my wall. And uh, let me move the camera in a little bit. Let's, uh, let's put these stickers up on the wall. All right, well, <clears throat> let's see. Let's put Ray over here. Oh boy, I better put his sticker on there straight. You know, he's a pretty fussy guy about that kind of stuff. All right, we'll put Ray over here by Randy and Phil. And then uh, Don Cossett, where can I fit him? Well, I guess we'll put him, put him right here below Randy Richards. All right. All right, I, I think I need to get myself some stickers here, huh? What is, uh, how much do these things cost anyway? Well, I'll have to look into that, I suppose. But anyway, maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, I should get Emma to make me uh, <laughs> do some artwork for me. All right, if you guys like old machinery and you want to see how to get it fixed up, why don't you hit the subscribe button here. It's the old horizontal mill. And uh, why don't you check out the videos that are coming up below here.